Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Ending. In this episode, I will be trying this uh, Armory game engine for Blender. Um, this is the website of Armory. Um, if you want to download it, you can now download it for free. And if you like to give like uh, donations, you can do that over here. There's also this uh, pattern uh, theme that you can also use if you want to support uh, Armory. So this is more like a subscription, like a monthly or weekly thing. Um, anyway, if you wanted to download, you can download here. And you just go to the downloads. And there's a few versions of Armory at the moment. The one that I'm actually using is the one for Mac for Blender 2.8. So 2.8 itself is still currently being developed. So expect a lot of crashing, maybe some kind of bugs. But so far, so good actually. If you want to try like simple things, um, start playing with the logic nodes, you can already do that. And this is a simple example. I'll give you I'll give you a quick demo. So if I just hit play, I should be getting Armory. So there you go. This is Armory game engine running. Um, it's really, really smooth and you can see also, I can actually control the red cube using my mouse and Suzanne is spinning um, I think I think it's a uh, controlled by frame or like a on updates on frame updates or something and the green box is doing the sine wave motion so let's quickly close this let's actually start from scratch so to be sure you are using the same version this is the version I'm using you can see the hash and let's save this real quick. Save as Armory Test. Armory Test X. Okay. Save Blender. So you can still work just like uh, your usual Blender workflow. You get the 3D view, etc. There is like nothing much different. And you probably gonna be using EV or Workbench cycles, whatever environment you are working. But here, in this uh, special version of Blender from Armory, you got a bunch of Armory kind of menu here. And this is where we're gonna work with Armory. So let's see. We have this play and build and etc. But I'll actually jump straight away to the node uh, network stuff. So let's, uh, let's open the node editor very quickly switch to node editor and let's find our armory there we go logic node 3 this is I think uh, what's uh, really interests me to give this armory a try it's uh, the node based kind of system that they, they provide um, so currently as usual, you can create nodes simply by Shift A and then select one of the nodes. Currently, the search doesn't seem to be quite working yet, unfortunately. Uh, but we can already use the nodes anyway. So one that's I think important is uh, on updates and maybe frame. So with Armory Game Engine and then the Logic Nodes tree, I think. It's really more like a, it's for game creation, right? So we get, we're gonna be dealing with um, interactive real-time stuff and interactive meanings that you can provide some kind of uh, real-time input. And so, and it's, it's gonna be all real-time, just like a game engine. So previously I've been um, testing similar thing using Blender Game Engine or the BGE, which is gonna be depreciated and remove and Blender 2.8 will not have Blender Game Engine anymore. So we have something like Armory Game Engine and um, this is really, really interesting for me because you can you can script all the interactivity of the game but you can also use a uh, node tree. And this is something that I will try now. So let's try to make uh, this cube going ups and down, just like a like a sine wave kind of motion. So let's try if that's actually easy to do. 
for that I believe we need to have a frame number or something similar so let's try to find a frame okay scrolling actually sometimes give that error and I have a feeling that I should just copy paste from this guy right here paste it okay cool it's all there so here I'm using on updates and there's a uh, this rotate objects for Suzanne I don't have Suzanne object but I got this cube and the cube um, this cube let's get rid of this for now I want to make this cube goes ups and down so this is the nodes that we need at the very least um, on update is something important that we always need to use I, I believe um, if we run this you will see that it it's probably not gonna work right away because there's an error yeah the cube is doing nothing uh, and why is that that's because in order for this to work we need to attach the logic node 3 into this object and the way to do that we select the objects and goes under armory traits well actually armory yeah I think armory trait and then here we select nodes and we assign the nodes 3 okay this guy that's the name select it there and by doing that I believe we should see the cube now kind of going up and down seems to be still kind of static so let's uh let's stop this real quick maybe it's a uh, it crashes or something we have time goes into the math doing the sine wave for the x we want it for the z maybe and we have our cube in the collections we have camera okay the camera is looking at the cube and we have a single light source okay I think it should actually work hit play oh, okay now our cube is doing a sine wave yep cool that's working and you can see how smooth it is uh, I think it's probably running at 60 frames per second um, it's a game engine it's running outside of blender so let's try doing another test using Suzanne we're gonna try to make Suzanne spinning and we're gonna be using on updates on updates I think it's gonna try to run it on every uh, frame upgrade frame update, but it's not like frame like uh, in animations. It's like uh, on on a update of the game engine, I believe So let's try to find action and Rotate object Okay, rotate objects be careful don't get this mix up with the uh, set rotation because set rotation is simply just gonna set rotations based on a value but rotate object is gonna be actually doing rotations as long this guy is updating so yeah a lot of kind of guessing currently uh, with, I'm, with what I'm doing but I think this is a it's a good way to try on armory especially with the logic nodes there is a similarity with the logic nodes between uh, uh, armory and animation nodes Spreadshop or or blender logic editor back then so so let's give Suzanne a little bit of color and let's run this armory player once again Supposedly, I think we're gonna be able to run it in the 3D view, viewport at some point. Currently, it's running like this. So you can see Suzanne is spinning. 
So that's a uh, yeah, it's already pretty cool because this is like once again this is like a game engine. It's running by itself on its own player and you can also make this interactive. That's the thing that I really interested in. It's a uh, you can even like for a basic simple thing, you know, like uh, interactions like making sound if the character is touching or um, something that kind of like a like a logic thing that can trigger one thing over another actions it's a it's very interesting i i wish this is like something that can be done like really really easily um of course it's already pretty easy with the game engine but uh i'd like this to be even simpler you know like because we're gonna be like using this kind of uh, real-time thing for ar or vr whatever it's i think that's uh, gonna be a big thing so it's it, it needs to be some kind of game engine and an app okay so a lot of talk and input let's try on mouse okay on mouse this is the we're gonna be using mouse and there's a choice here left middle or right button and of course you can guess it this is uh, the, the out is gonna be like the trigger true or false right so let's actually let's make a donut a torus and then try to control the torus by using on mouse so we're gonna need another actions and translate objects so this is the, the most basic example i could think of donuts is see the donut is not showing up maybe it's a maybe it's a bug this needs to be under collections maybe and then now we can see the torus so down left down right currently i'm doing it like this maybe there's a better way down left gonna make the torus goes to the left so minus 0 0.1 there and this one 0 0.1 let's let's hope that this is working um uh, we probably need to assign this node three. Oh okay. The interesting thing is the Suzanne is not assigned armory trait uh, and it's simply work. But I I believe it's a it's a good idea to do this always. Or maybe you only need to do it once. You're not assigning it per object. But anyhow. So Torus, Cube, Suzanne, all controlled by the logic nodes inside this game engine. So yeah, it's a very simple and basic stuff, right? But it's uh, still pretty interesting. And the nice thing about this this kind of way of working is that you can easily make changes to the logic nodes of course this thing will get more and more complex and but but still it's a uh, imagine if you if you want to do just a simple vr you know just with a little bit of interactivity this is a good start you know or oh, the the middle click doesn't work maybe i did something wrong here um supposed to be working but anyhow um, I think that's good enough actually for now uh, you can try all kind of different and interactivity so variable is a useful one but a uh, input here like a um, on like a keyboard click like uh, maybe space maybe this guy can actually go up so there's a lot of weird things with the logic nodes that are weird and kind of alien at the moment but uh we get like a lot of nodes already and it's a good idea to try them and uh, like event i think with game engine event is very very important everything is kind of like uh, live and real time and the logic also it's uh you can use all kind of algorithm to make to 
to kind of trigger some kind of actions and yeah it's a it's it's different when you're thinking about this on when using animation nodes or sweat chalk sweat chalk is really good for modeling animation nodes is for animations and it's pretty close uh, so far the way i think of animation nodes is uh it's get triggered by frame update like a blender frame but this guy is actually triggered by some kind of a uh, game engine time or on updates this is kind of new and then event is also kind of on event trigger that's a uh, kind of uh, very powerful but it's uh, it's not easy to explain and because I probably don't understand it that well but anyhow that's a uh, I think a good start and let me stop this let me try actually using space to control and translate objects maybe it's not gonna work a good thing to try is that maybe to change the color of the objects randomly based on um, like a trigger so of course the space doesn't seem to work so I did something wrong here uh, so anyhow this is I think pretty good to get you started um, really just make an objects kind of um, kind of moving automatically using time in this uh, Armory game engine is kind of already kind of interesting because it's like a like a demo scene, right? So try also maybe like a trigger some kind of sound. This is also nice play sound. Currently, I know I know that uh, we should be able to print out value so we can actually see what's going on. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I think still it's a uh, it's under development, and there will be documentations, and there will be lots of YouTube videos out there to get you started. I think I I was inspired to get into Armory after watching um, Games from Scratch. I think that's the YouTube name. So YouTube Games from Scratch. That YouTube channel has a lot of uh, informations on Armory and Godot and all kind of things. So, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Just have a look at this Games From Scratch uh, YouTube channel, um, and hopefully you can get a lot out of it. So notes, I love notes, and there's a lot here, and I will try to make sense of the notes and make a lot of more videos like this. And hopefully, we in the end, we can get like some kind of interactive, um, game engine to to do like the storytelling or something you know something interesting um, all right there you go hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye